Hello everybody, this is Mr. E, coming to you with another Let Us Play. Uh, today we will be playing Faster Than Light, or FTL, colon Faster Than Light. It's a game by Subset Games, and as you can see it was in 2014. Isn't that awesome? Can't believe that that was three years ago now. Uh, anyways, this is a really fun game. And I've been playing it for a while now, but uh, this is the first Let's Play that I've ever done of it. So, and I haven't really gotten that far, because I kind of suck at it. I die a lot. Alright, uh, so here is, um, a, we'll just do a new game. So, click. Alright. Um, I, as you can see, I suck, so I only have the first layout of the first ship, but I do have, uh, two layouts for the, for the second ship, and that's it. <laughs> uh, so we'll just act like this is the first time I've ever played, so we'll set it to easy because that's the only game difficulty that I can play, and, uh, advanced edition garbage. All right. Start. Data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for your journey, so make sure you explore each sector before moving on to the next, but get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Pro tip. Health. Pay attention to your crew's health. Use the med bay to keep them patched up. I think that's an obvious thing, but whatever. All right. Uh, so we can jump right now. I'm going to actually take a look at my stuff here. Even though I know a little bit about what this is already, because I play this, like I said, a lot. Oh no. All right, well, we're going to, all my, I use a different format on my keyboard, so all of my, uh, stuff is rearranged because this defaults to just QWERTY. So, um, we're going to be doing a lot of clicking instead of hotkeying. Yay. Um, all right. Whatever. We'll just keep it. Jump. Um, let's go there. All right, you see a civilian space station with heavy damage. You receive a message. We've been hit hard by the war. We need more drone parts to speed up our repairs. We'll buy some. If you have any extra. Nope. All right, jump. We will go to this place. And the Pulsar, yay. <laughs> a rebel captain appears on the screen. I thought we had been doomed to backwater assignment. This is my chance to get back in good, in command's good graces. Charge the weapons. Yay. All right. Well, don't forget auto fire, everybody. If you play this game, don't forget auto fire because that can really cripple you. So we'll charge just our burst laser. Because that's all I feel like doing right now. Uh, shields. Alright, and continue. Yeah, okay. So I got like these little guys, and they, uh, or, I don't know, maybe it's not a, oh yeah, we are in a pulsar. Oh, cool, that affects my shit, I forgot about that. Alright, well, they are affected as well. Fire all weapons. Yes, sweet. You've clearly bested us. We barely request our lives. We will not accept surrender. Because I want their parts. I want their scrap. Uh, I'm going to turn this off because apparently I lost. Why is it not turning off? Can I not turn it off right now?
Okay, apparently I can't turn it off. No, power down. There we go. All right. Uh, I just want to keep on destroying their shields, I guess. I mean, they're going to die anyways, because as soon as I attack them with lasers, they're going to uh, get damage to their hull and blow up and die. Oh, cool. And it shut off my fucking lasers. <laughs> Shit. Pew, pew, pew. Kablooge. All right. Scrap robots and missiles. That is not a substantial, but whatever. We'll jump the hell out of here because pulsars suck. All right. As soon as you arrive, you receive a feder Federation encrypted message. A rebel ship has been terrorizing the local civilians in the system. Please seek and destroy it. Uh, Let's go for looking. Okay, we found it. You're able to quickly track down the rebel. Let's hope he... He's as easy to defeat in combat as he was to find. He probably will... Target shields. And uh, after this, we'll just um, start attacking. Oh, crap. Okay, so they just attacked my O2. Get my dude off the engines, because we're going to battle the crap out of these guys. We don't need our engines right now. Oh, man. There we go. All right, now take their O2 out. Make them suffer. Nope, oh, okay. Our dude is here, so we'll go help out the weapons dude. Okay, cool. Let's get you on the shields. Why not? And now they got shields again. Actually, let's attack their weapons. Oh, man, jeez, stop killing my stuff. See, this is what happens. I get attacked every single time. No, you rebels. No surrender. Please let us live. Never grow up, never surrender. Or what is it? I don't know, I don't know. whatever. Movie quotes. I like this burst laser. It's a good start off thing for uh, this game, but it for real takes so long to charge it up. All right, so we got double the scrap. Good job. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap materials. Yay. Oh, I forgot to preface this. Um, I am actually using a new program right now. So uh, if you hear a lot of weird background noise, it's because of that program. It's picking up a lot more than than the last one that I used. So this is sort of a test for this program if I'm going to continue using it in the, in the future. All right, so we're going to update some jazz. Hmm. I'm not a good strategist on this game yet. What I have found is updating your engines is pretty awesome to do like quickly because it increases your dodge. So if your dodge is up, then your shield strength is not necessarily going to matter all that much. Um, but I do understand updating your shields really quickly. So uh, I'll just do what I did last test, which was update my engines. Enough talk, action. All right, we'll get more of that and accept. Okay, so now we have four engines. Oh, what? Oh, 
Oh, miscalculated. Oh well. <laughs> Jump to the next system. Oh no, distress. All right, let's go help those people, or whatever it is. Could be pirates. You arrive at the beacon and immediately detect the pirate ship. It seems the distress beacon was a trap. Of course it's a trap. It's always a trap. Uh, all right. Two, we will attack their shields. Oh, I don't have power crap. All right. Shields it is. So see, we have like 20 invasion right now. So they can still attack our shields, obviously. But... If we have we have a twenty percent chance to like get missed or get like their attack missing us, so that's pretty good odds in the beginning, which is pretty awesome. That's all I'm saying about it. We're gonna attack there. Nope, gonna go to shields. Nope, powering up their FTL. Take out their engines. Quick, quick, take out their engines. Yeah, all right. Killed them instead. Ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useless equipment materials. Scrap materials. Scrap materials. Uh, let's get them back onto the engines. And see, now I'm up 25, so I have a 25% chance of not getting killed. Yay! And we'll give that person health, because health is oh so important in this game. Trust me. <laughs> you ever play it. Holy crap. Uh, and we'll get another energy thing. So now we have 30%. And jump. Um, it says to go to all the star systems, but I have not been able to do that without getting, like, obliterated by the rebel forces coming in. So, I just tried to take the most lucrative route, meaning the one with the uh, most planets that I can attack, or get to. You detect an automated, automated rebel scout attacking a small refueling outpost. Refueling outpost. Intrafine or avoid conflict. Conflict. My words work. Yes. All right. We'll defend, of course. Oh no. It's turning around to attack us. All right. Uh, weapons, because they have no shields. That would be smart. Because they have an ion gun, it looks like, and a flame or a flame a halberd? How, how, how bad? I don't know. Whatever. And we'll take out their engines. So if you take out someone else's engines, I, I assume the same effect happens. So if they have a high evasion, if you take out their engines, then uh, they will lose that ev evasion, like, percentage too. So, yay, 14 scrap. Yay, the outpost, help. Thanks for the help. You've been we've been harassed nonstop by those scouts. Take this on the house. Thank you. Alright, so we can update our ship again, I guess. Or maybe not. Uh, let's let's save it. We're gonna hit a shop here eventually. So we'll start saving up now. Uh you also have to sort of think about where you're going to be going. Because, like, see, this place only has... You can only go to that place. But for here, you can get a lot more spaces. Sometimes you can get trapped by going, like, to here, let's say. And if I couldn't connect to there, then I'd have to go backwards. So, strategy. Oh, God. You arrive at the beacon. You find yourself dangerously close to a star. An automated rebel ship, impervious to the heat, moves in to engage. Uh, I hate the suns and the pulsars and all that garbage. 
because they do pulsars. Well, every so often you'll get attacked by a blast of heat, and then it sets something on fire in your in your ship. So no bueno. And uh, yeah, it's just lame. Pew pew pew. All right. Ship explodes. 25 scrap, yay! All right, let's jump the hell out of here. Mew. Okay, stumble across a forward scout in the rebel fleet. Continue. They are powering up the FDL. If they get away, they will no doubt warn the fleet of your position. Oh no. Okay. Then we will take out their shields and then take out their FTL or their engines. Same difference. Quick. <laughs> oh, I, no, I don't. All right. Did they just beam something onto my ship? Yes. What a jerk. This little guy can beam bombs onto your ship. It has a random thing for it to do that. All right, so they are now delayed. We are going to attack their... Actually, let's attack their O2. Yeah. <laughs> Get wrecked. Oh, my God. Kabloosh. Yay, breaks apart. 17 scrap. Seriously, sometimes it'd be nice to get like a million scrap, but that never really happens. So subsystems, um, these you don't need power to, uh, level up. So they're always good to level up too. This one's kind of cool. I don't know. I always keep a guy on the, on the helm. So it doesn't really affect me very much. Totally want door systems. Uh, upped because you will get attacked inside your ship and trust me it's not fun so we'll do that and jump where's this go okay yeah we'll just go along that outside edge there why not Advance Rebel Automated Ship remains stationed near a small Rebel space station sensors indicate it's a storage vessel of, for military goods well, then we'll have to take it out. Attack the automated ship? Of course. Of course. Why? Why wouldn't I? Ooh, they got a nasty little weapon there. I think this is a little rocket launcher? I don't know. We'll find out. Yep, rocket launcher. Oh, wow. <laughs> that could have really killed that person in there. See, evasion, man. Evasion works. Now we take out their thing, their weapons. No more weapons. And now they're FTL. Well, we're going to blow them up there. So, whatever. Doesn't matter. Kabloom. Yay. Investigate station. Station is a storage site for various resources. You salvage everything possible. Really? Only three fuel, one robot, and 12. <sighs> Not much of a storage facility, is it, then? Uh, I'm going to start heading towards the exit because this is bad news. Receive a request. All of our army, sh uh, <laughs> all of our military ships have been destroyed or damaged during the rebellion, however. There have been reports of a Mantis war camp only a few jumps from here. Can you help? Uh, sure, why not? Let's do it. All right, cool. We got a quest marker and then 21 things. Thank you. You can just give us a count on the numbers. Perhaps we can get the rebels to help. Uh, we're going to continue to save up. Yes. Awesome. All right. 
So we're going to hit that store. Because we need equipment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You always need equipment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire suppression. That's kind of cool. Uh, that's pretty cool. Ion fields. Uh, ion damage just nullifies a system for a while, so they're pretty awesome uh, weapons, but I don't know if I really want to spend 45 on that. That would be awesome, 15%. Oh, there's only one. Damn. Get a crew teleporter. The, I think the benefit of that is you can kill all the all the people inside the other ship and then um, you get more stuff than just destroying it but uh, it also gets really hairy because killing other humans is actually pretty bad or pretty hard and actually you know what I've never done that before so maybe it'd be worth it to grab it I'm gonna go the safe route and get the shield booster though Or what I see is the safe route. Other people could see what I'm doing and laugh their their butts off. Um, I really wish you could sell off this stuff because I hardly ever use missiles unless I'm like really, really in a pinch. And I don't really need hull stuff. We'll just save that for upgrades. All right, so let's upgrade the ship. With this, I will upgrade my shields, I believe. Kabloom. Okay, so we upped it to... But you still need power to fill those two, so I need to, like, update my reactor as well, which sucks. Power management on this game is, like, the worst part of it. It's what makes it so crushingly hard. Ooh, crap. We need to get to the exit now. All right. Um, we're going to go to the exit before it take, is taken over by Rebels, because actually it already is. Yay. <laughs> Great. Oh, and they got two shields. Yay. You found the exit beacon, but the Rebels got there first. You must survive long enough to be able to jump to the next escort sector. This is where mystery dies. Let's... Sh oh my god. Shields. Am I paused? Yep. Okay. <clears throat> oh god, they have rockets too. Alright. We got the shields down enough. Let's just start taking out um, things. Because this is a very dangerous weapon. Oh, man. And that is really bad. We'll just let that sit for a while here. <laughs> that is going to spread. <laughs> oh, God. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, ah, crap. We have no weapons. Okay. Uh, You get in here and help those shields. Okay. We're getting the hell out of here. We have to get the hell out of here. Um, let's go to, I don't know. Let's try Zoltan space. Why not? All right. Get the hell out of here. Yay. You've arrived in Zoltan space. From what you have heard, they, anticip they anticipated the coming war and made preparations to hold their borders. Oh, okay, so we have a um, fire. And you're saying, why, why not just send people in there to help put out the fire or to put out the fire? Well, that's a silly thing to do, especially since we're not in danger. So what I'm going to do is this awesome thing, which is I'm going to evacuate all the air into the cabinet or into that cabin. And uh, have this guy repair. So watch this crap. 
Yep, and they're all healed. So have them go back and help. So they gain some hip or some uh, repair stuff. Poof. These little lines means that there's no air in that thing. And we can close all the doors with the one button. But now we have to wait until this is recharged. So you can see there's a percentage here. It tells you how much air is inside the ship. And since I only have one dot in, uh, one power in, uh, oxygen generation, it takes a long time. But, uh, this is safe to go in, I believe. Um, people don't get hurt in those, in that environment. Like, uh, you'll tell if they, they start losing hit points if, uh, it's, they go into an air <laughs> environment without air. So we'll just wait until that's like, I don't know, 95, and then we'll jump to the next place. Yep. Okay, 95. Ooh, there's that quest. Hmm. Let's take the long way. <clears throat> Your ship is hailed. This is an automated message. Resisting our takeover is pointless. Prepare to die. It appears the rebel ship is run by an AI. Really? Hmm. I think the automated message would have denoted that. All right. Shields first. Always go for the shields. I mean, you could always hit the weapons too, but these are my strategies. You can take them or leave them. Oh, sweet. My freaking laser just took out that that drone. That was not planned. <laughs> Neither was that. <laughs> okay, let's destroy their weapons, so. Because that could really hurt us if it attacks a important system. And then we will... Now let's just destroy their shields. And as you can tell, enemies as you move on get stronger and have, like, stronger shields. So you have to be constantly upgraded. Upgrading. Constantly be upgrading, bruh. Ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap. 29 scrap. Uh, let's start updating some power. So we have an extra thing of power right now. Oh, God. You catch glimpses of strange signal coming from a space station before your sensors shut off <laughs> unexpectedly. As you discover that your sensors are being jammed, you hear hostiles beam into your ship, intruders on board. This is usually bad. Especially if you haven't updated your, your doors, which I did, thank God. Alright, so. Until you are able to jump away from the hostile space stations, your sensors will be disabled. Disabled. You should deal with these, with these borders first, though. Yes. Okay. So I don't know where they are. Um, they usually go for the oxygen place first, or the oxygen generator first, because they're they're all buttholes. So what I like to do is just open up all the doors and evacuate all the air from the areas that are not occupied because I am a dick like that. And since we don't have to attack anybody, maybe I'll just go and protect the the uh, oxygen thing and just open up all the doors in the back of the ship too. All right. <clears throat> okay. So now all the air is coming out of here. They don't know that they have to get past this area. Haha. <laughs> to um get to the oxygen. Or get to the uh yeah, get to the oxygen thing cuz they always go for that. They're jerks. All 
Okay, well, I assume that they know that they're going to die here. Oh no, oh no, <laughs> oh crap. <laughs> oh no, uh, <laughs> well, my, my, uh, pilot's gonna die here. <laughs> crap. I didn't even think about that. That's, uh, that's so bad. All right, so <laughs> he's going to go there. Oh, my God. That's so bad. He needs to get over there quick. Oh, no, no. This is going so bad. They need to leave. They need to leave. Quick, quick, quick. Get in there. Okay, so these guys died before they could before they could do anything. That's good. And that okay, yeah, we're we're safe now. Oh, thank God. All right, so now we close all the doors and just wait for the oxygen to come back. <laughs> and that's how you deal with invaders. Okay, while that's happening, I'm gonna get a drink. So we only lost a system, which is, uh, you know, not great, but, and we almost lost our guys, but that's okay. With the quick thinking of the captain, I solved, solved all of our problems because I'm a good captain. I, you know, I protect my crew. All right. Sorry for all the noise. It's seriously the mic is picking up all kinds of crazy stuff that it didn't before when I was using uh, GarageBand. So filters, yay! All right, so we're just gonna send. Who has the best repair right now? Okay, we're gonna take Banks and we're gonna take. Artyom, and we're going to send them in there. Even though that's not their station. I'd rather they just take care of the repairs for now because they're in critical systems right now. So, uh, let me just hit enter, and everybody goes back to their ship, or to their station. Because these get hit a lot, especially weapons and engines. Um, so, I want those guys to have the best... Repair. <clears throat> okay, let's get the hell out of this place. Stupid jerks. Mm. Let's go here. Okay. Rebels, autonomous scouts. Yay, engage my ship. Come, come at me, bro. Pew, pew, pew. So this is this game. It's, it's fun. I like it a lot. It's, it's a pretty good, um, time killer. I mean, you can easily sink... An hour and a half, getting all the way to the last section, maybe even more. I know I've probably sunk more of that time, uh, more than that, into getting to that lat into the last sector, which actually takes a lot longer than you'd think. All right, let's take out their freaking weapons. This is silly. Okay, weapons down. Now let's take out their shields, or their uh, engines. Because I, I'm feeling that, like, the engines are what making, is what making it, what is making it hard to hit them. So now that we've crippled their engines a little bit, we can take out their shields. Okay, yep. That's doing it. So let's keep on hitting those engines. Okay, now nah, they're easy to hit. Or they should be, at least. See, I don't understand why these have 
pilot areas because they don't... I mean, unless... I've never boarded one of these ships, so maybe if you board here, you instantly take it over. But, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. If we hit this guy... Yep, okay, it's done. Wow, 31 scrap. Cool. That's good. Okay, since we got that, we're going to update our power bars. And now we have extra shields. Yay! Let's see. Do we want anything else? Let's give ourselves an extra power bar. Boom, shields increased. Now we have two shields. See, this kind of sucks. We usually have another person in the group by now, but uh, this is bad. Oh, God. I hate these areas. I hate these danger areas because it's already hard enough. This game is already hard enough. You arrive to an asteroid field and are greeted by a Zoltan guard. By attempting to access these closed mine fields, you are in violation of the Natural Mining Mineral Protection Act. I screwed up. I'm sorry. I'm I'm a ro robot. I did. I don't know. Your weapon will be confiscated for processing. You don't have time for this. No, I don't. No, I don't have time for this. All right. Same jazz. Take out their shields. So this little bar thing, it's like an extra thing that you have to destroy before you can actually get to their shields. It's a dumb. Okay, now we're through their shields. Oh, crap. They have an ion thing. That's not good. Okay, time to use the missiles on their weapons. End this craziness. Oh, God. See, now we're getting hit by asteroids, which is no bueno as far as I'm concerned. Okay, we've taken down their shields, so we're just going to fire a rocket at their oxygen. <laughs> Yeah, take that. Okay, 31. Nice. All right, let's get the hell out of this place. Um, Since I am greedy, I'm going to go to this area first. Just see what we can get. Yeah, another rebel. Rebel ship is guarding the beacon. You order a pursuit course and prepare to scrap one more. Or scrap up one more. Yep, that's the kind of captain I am. Scrappy captain. Uh, since I have the rockets and I have 20 of them, I'm just going to launch it at their O2. Why not? I was going to launch it at their weapons, but let's be jerks about it and take out their oxygen so they're having to have to deal with two critical systems. Actually, you know what? Let's just keep on bombarding their oxygen. Why not? Okay. FTL is going up, so now we have to divert. Oh, no. Or not. Never mind. 31. Nice. That's really all I pay attention to. I mean, it depends on what kind of ship you have, uh, what what you should be paying attention to. So don't don't mind me being like, yay, more scrap. Because that's all I pay attention to. Hmm. Let's, um. I kind of want to upgrade my, my engines again. You know what? Let's, let's start saving up. <clears throat> let's save up for the next, uh, store. We could... Take them out, but I'm worried about our hull because we keep on running into the guys with uh, rockets, which is garbage. Okay, let's do this quest.
Uh, you find the Mantis encampment, but there are far too many of them to count accurately. You send a long-range message back to the settlement with your findings, but unfortunately, there's not much you can do. It would be suicide to attack directly. Leave before they notice you. Missile, weapon, bombard their key structures. Let's let's be good. I don't care. Okay. Um, you fire at their fuel depot. But a shot from the surface rips the missile to shreds. Oh, great. Now we have to attack something. They must have planetary defense systems set up already. You try to get away, but a nearby patrol ship moves in to attack. All right. We're good. We can take this. We can kill it. Let's do the same thing we did before. Lasers on the shields and missile on the um, oxygen. Because everything in this universe needs oxygen. That is, except for one race, which I forget what their name is. Because they actually devoid oxygen from compartments that they're in. And their ships have no oxygen to use. Yeah, take that. Meh. All right, 24. And two. Or two uh, whatevers. Yeah. Let's hit this distress. See what's up. You arrived to find the lumbering Zoltan freighter with no one at the helm. It's a mystery what happened to the crew. But it will be a shame to let the, let the opportunity go to waste. Only 16 stuff. Oh, nice. All right. Uh, then we're going to hit the store because we have a hundred. Actually, let's hit the distress. Let's get some more. Let's get some more pieces. You've encountered a refugee ship drifting in space. It looks as if it was fleeing the rebel advance and ran out of fuel. Its distress beacon is active, but you're not sure anyone is aboard. Hail. As you hail the refugee ship, a Zoltan ship suddenly jumps into the system. It claims the refugee ships are criminals and accuses you of escorting fugitives. Awesome. Before you can respond, it cuts communications and powers up weapons. Of course, just like everything in this freaking universe. Shields. Oxygen. Let's do it. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Ah, oh, God. Every time those missiles hit, the hull goes down. It sucks. I better get some good crap from here. Okay, now let's take out that and just keep on bombarding their oxygen with uh, rockets. Actually, you know what? Let's save a rocket. Oh, too late. Yay! Contact the refugees, refugee ships, thank you for your assistance. Assistance as a gesture of goodwill and seeing how you effectively how effectively you dispatch the enemy ship. They offer up what supplies they can spare. Would have been nice to get more, but whatever. More on a schedule. Alright, let's go to the store. Yay, Mantis crew here has hunkered down. In the admin of a long-dead space whale, the only way, presumably, for them to operate their black market trade without detection. Worth a look? Sure. Yay, too. Um, mind control's pretty cool. I've used that before. It, uh, temporarily takes over an enemy ally, so you can, you know, have a person over on the other ship without having a teleporter, which is pretty awesome. Um, increases the boost amount. I kind of don't really understand what this is. I assume it like increases whatever bonus is affected for that area of the ship. But, uh, I don't know. It could just give you an extra thing or an extra piece of power for 30 seconds. All right, let's see what page two is. Battery charger. Backup batteries lock time is half. Oh, that's pretty good. So if you get ion blasted, that will lower the the time that's blasted for half. 
Ooh, that's pretty good. That would be good too. Though we haven't really had many people attack with an ion. Well, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe a couple. Hmm. Oh, we should uh, fix our shield or our hull first. That's for sure. Before we run out of stuff. See, we have enough uh, fuel to move around. So. Drones, I don't know. There's some ships that would be, that are useful for it, but eh, we don't really need it. Right now. Upgrading increases the boost amount. Oh, yeah, okay, so it gives you, yeah, it gives you two bonus power or four bonus power, depending, for 30 seconds. So that's good, I guess. I mean, you could effectively give yourself two more shields for 30 seconds, but then I don't know how long it takes to charge or you give oxygen and you know anything. I'm thinking that the mind control might be good. Even though I actually could we get both? Maybe both. Uh yeah. Yeah, we get both. We'd be like Dunzo on stuff. All right, let's get it. Let's do it. Let's do this. And what else do we want to get? Let's just increase our hull. Why not? Okay. And jump. Because we need to get to the exit like right now. Since we already came there, we can just jump immediately. Or since we already know what's in that area. You have come to a Zoltan trade and supply hub. Everything the weary traveler needs, provided that they have the right documentation. Uh, let's try to talk our way in. You pose as traitors and succeed in bypassing airlock security. However, it's only a matter of time before someone realizes your ID, co uh, ID cards are counterfeit. You head into this ship supply store. It is well equipped, self service affair, and an order is, to ta is dialed into a terminal. Scrap is deposited, and the item is dispatched from the nearby sh chute. Yeah. I mean, we can't buy anything anyways, but. These things usually, uh, it seems like they're always the same price, so. Um... You know, you can keep that in mind. Uh, this is, I've never gotten this, but um, automatically cloning dead crewmates with skill penalty. Taking advantage of micro-cloning crew heals partially every jump. Jump heal is passive and requires no power. So I've never gotten this, but that's pretty cool. Takes 12, I guess it takes 12 seconds to clone a person, and then they have 8 health, and then, or they gain 8 health every jump. I don't know how much they start out with. Does it say? No, it does not. Um, baby, 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 baby. Can we sell anything? Nope. Don't want to sell anything. Let's get the hell out of here. And go into the exit. You arrive at the long, a long range beacon. Small station fitted with hundreds of repair drones. You receive an automatic message. We don't know who you are. We don't care. But this is the right place for some ship repair. Uh, ignore. Because we don't even have any. I mean, we barely have any. Alright, let's get the hell out of this sector.
So, uh, depending on which one you go to, I guess it depend. It like tells you how hostile an area is going to be or how lucrative it's going to be, I guess you could look at it. I like to go to um, the red ones so I can get more scrap because holy crap, you need it. Okay. Music in this game is awesome. Love it. You will have to be cautious in this sector. The rebels have full control and are no doubt looking for you. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're always looking for you. Uh... Let's not waste a jump checking to see what's in the store. Let's just go to two places and then jump to the store. You've detected a rebel scout and an attack approach to a small refueling outpost. Their weapons are charged, but they are not firing yet. Uh, let's defend. Rebel scum. Rebels respond to your threat. I don't know who you are, but no one defies the rebel fleet. They move to engage. All right. Let's... Can I mind control? Aw, boo. Okay, so we need someone in there. Uh, <clears throat> crap. See, this is where we need more people. Why do everyone got more people? Maybe that station will have more people instead of robots. Let's just... Let's take out their shields and... Ah, oh, crap, we don't have power. Can I? Yes. Okay. And then this will take out their. Actually, let's just shoot their oxygen first. Just pop one off into their oxygen bay. God, oh, jeez. All right. <clears throat> Those shields need to go down now, or those weapons need to go down now. So I uh, move the Artemis to the, to the, um, oh my God. And they're dazed. Okay, power down the Artemis. <clears throat> that crap needs to go down now. Get that guy off of whatever. We need to get that crap going. Take out their oxygen. Okay, good stuff. Now back to the shields. Man, that was fast. That sucks. Okay, cool. More on the engines. Yay. Take that, rebel scum. The outpost hails you. The pompous bastards expected free service just because they defeated the Federation. Take this for your help. For the help. Alright, cool. We got tons of stuff now. Well, not tons, but whatever. Um, oh yeah, we want to save up for the shop. Okay, uh... Let's go to the next place. Oh, crap. And I might... Ah, oh, damn it. I should have hung back and repaired. Poop. Uh, great. Another automated rebel thing. Okay. Um, let's just get this crap over with. <laughs> we can always repair at the station, so let's just destroy this guy and leave. Oh my god, we need to get rid of that crap.
Wow. Okay, good stuff. There we go. 32. Jump the hell out of here. All right, yeah, we need to get to that store now. You discover a resupply store used by rebels and civilians alike. You transmit your fake ship identification, and for once, they don't seem to recognize your ship. You try to assume the air of a local as you prepare to dock. Backup DNA bank. Your crew is safe in clone storage, even if the system is off or broken. Cool. Prevents your weapon, your weapon fire from disrupting your cloak, allowing you to shoot at will while cloaked. That's cool. Explosive replicator. Missile-based weapons have a 50% chance of not using a missile. Cool. What is page two? Ooh, an ion blaster. How much are people? Oh, yes, we have enough. Freaking time. How much is it? Yes, one. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, so we are going to get a... Well, the hacking thing is pretty cool, but uh, we're kind of low on power. Um, So, plus that would be like a waste of resources right now. We totally need a person. Uh, immune to fire, movement is... Speed is halved. 150. Uh, mantises are pretty cool. S repair speed double, combat damage inflicted is halved. Okay. Let's get... <sighs> Let's get Remo here. Because he's impervious to fire and he has more hit points and he, well, he doesn't take more damage, but, um, uh, what was I going to do? What was the other thing I was going to If you can hear that, that's my neighbor dropping stuff on the floor in their house. Uh, Iron Blaster, that's what I was going to get. Since it only takes one, that's awesome. We already have that power to use. Ion Blaster. Cha-ching. All right, we'll keep the Artemis for now. Um. Yeah. Man, we need... This is not a good run. <laughs> I hate how this game is, like, totally based off of just pure luck. All right. I think I'm going to put him in the shield since he moves so slowly. That way we don't have to, um, that way you can move up to the whatever real quick. Okay, and everybody saves. Ooh, you need health. Bad. Well, not bad, but you need health. All right, and we will charge the ion blaster. Can I move? Yes, I can. Cool. All right. Let us do the jump. I hate going through nebulas because there's always snail people there. And they are a bunch of jerks. God. All right, let's just take the safe way. We'll just go this way. <clears throat> go around that nebula. I hate nebulas. I have not seen a reason to even go through them. Because it's not like they're rich in anything else that I've noticed. So I just stay away from them. Obviously. Still will cross a forward scout for the rebel fleet. They are powering up the FTL. 
If they get away, they will no doubt alert them. Oh, no. All right. Well, if they're going to alert them, then we should take out their shields, shouldn't we? So you shall see with the Ion Blaster, which is awesome. Oh, yeah. Also, since we have a, a person in the shield thing, then it, shields are going to re re uh, load faster. So we shall attack their oxygen now and just keep on shooting the Ion Blaster at their shields. Which is awesome because it gives us like plenty of time to... Uh... Oh, no to um, attack other subsystems because the shields are always down. Oh, you are screwed, buddy. Crap. Yeah, take that. 28. All right. Ship is up. We need a power or more power. Yeah, we need this so we can actually see them and use our mind control device. Oh, then I would crap. God, my neighbor, seriously. All right, let's just update the subsystem now and we'll get the rest later. Hey, why not? Let's let's just go through the area. Let's let's find out. Let's see if there's anything new that I haven't seen. Oh, cool. Jump into the middle of plasma sword and multiple Rec uh, multiple recently incapacitated ships loom in the shadows, barely, briefly illuminated by the lightning. Manually search wreckage for our survivors and equipment. Avoid the risk and wait to jump. Uh, let's search. Oh, yeah, sweet. Most of the debris is hardly even usable as scrap. However, you eventually find an attack weapon that can be mounted on your ship. So this is kind of cool weapon. Oh, and I can jump. Awesome. Then let's get the hell out of here. All right, next. Great. See, this is another reason why. Because you can't see inside your ship when you're... Or certain subsystems are turned off. Uh, oh, that was because of the plasma storm. Anyways, it's not fun. See, you, this subsystem, you can't see inside your ship now. So you don't know where the hell they are. And that's no bueno. And apparently it's teleported into the freaking... All right. We don't need this power right now. So I'm going to put him in here. He is going to run to the med bay. Everybody's going to go to the med bay. And then we're going to evac air out of this mf -er. Okay, that should be good. Oh, jeez. Because if you have a person in here, it increases the uh, protection on these doors. Okay, so they're trapped in here and they're losing air quickly. <laughs> as soon as they all die, we can just leave. Okay, so this is the bad part about this, is that you can only have one person, or you can only have three people in here at one time in the med bay. So, actually just leave him there. Crap. 
this is good because we're all in the med bay and we could just crush these guys. <laughs> okay. Jeez. Uh, all right. Since we're fine, let's just stay here and oh, we can't auto close the doors. Crap. Hmm. All right, so I got to take my two best repair people and not sacrifice them, but have them go into this room to repair this crap until it's done and keep an eye on their health. Okay, get in here. Can I close the doors? Okay, good. Then we'll just wait for the oxygen to come back up. Now that half of the systems are back up and running. Select. Okay. This should be better now. These guys can go off and repair this. All right, and then after this, we'll just leave this godforsaken. This is the reason why I didn't go in here. I forgot about that crap, that they just, people come out of nowhere and they just start attacking your ship. Intruders. Wait, what's going on? Oh, we have no power in the engines. That's why. Okay. We'll depower that. Increase the ion blaster and the burst laser. Can I increase the power? Yes, I can. And I will. All right, so now we have full systems. Yes, I believe. We'll find out. Uh, well... Let's just keep on doing this. Let's slog through it. You can't see anything through the thick gases surrounding your ship without knowing what is out there. All you can do is wait for your FTL to charge. Now let's hit this distress. Why not? It's better than purple. Your cockpit lights up with warning lights. You are being tracked by a nearby vessel. The distress call was a lure to attract unwitting ships into weapons range. You prepare for a fight. Prepared. Okay, cool. Yeah, I have all of my things. So I am going to use my uh, mind control on that sector of the ship and the ion blaster of that second of sector of the ship and the oxygen Actually, on the engines. Uh, no, weapons. Why not? So this is cool. Now they'll attack each other. Ha. Ah. <laughs> All right. Okay, now we got a cooldown for that thing, so. Let's hit their engines. <laughs> Not anymore. Uh, never surrender. Maybe you shouldn't have started this war, rebels. Actually, you know what? I'm going to power down my laser and not attack anything, and I'm just going to use my uh, ion cannon to uh, attack them. 
because that fire is going to spread throughout the entire ship <laughs> and murder all of them. <laughs> and it's also going to take out all their uh, oxygen as well. Ha ha. Oh, shit. Seriously, oxygen drains out of my ship way faster than it does on their ship. It's nuts. Don't like it. Let's see if we can stun them in that room and kill them off. Got one. Nice. Yes, ha ha ha, die. Also, I think the cool thing is, is that you can't uh, repair a, sh a subsystem that is ioned. So it not only is damaged, but <laughs> useless. <laughs> oh, they're going to run out of L. <laughs> out, of, out of oxygen, and then I'm going to get that ship. Yeah, they're dead. Just a matter of time. There we go. Awesome. I got their hull smasher laser. With no crew to stop you. Cool. All right. So how much? I haven't even looked at the equipment I've gotten. Uh, three power. Wow. How much? 14 seconds, 12 seconds, two power, one power, three power. I'm going to put the halberd or halberd into the storage, leave the Artemis. Yep. Okay. <sighs> All right, so um, I'm going to I'm going to save my stuff. Just wait. I really want two shots per charge. One. No. Yeah, it takes two. Okay, so I could do burst laser or the hull laser. Which actually be pretty good, because then I could put damage into their... into their area that they're at. All right, let's jump. <clears throat> Ooh, another distress signal. Meh, let's screw it. Let's it's far out of our way. Probably just a freaking rebel again. There's a small planet nearby with scattered settlements. A small rebel fleet is in orbit with many ships ferrying back and forth. It must be more recently liberated planet. Okay, that was useless. Go to that place. Corsa has asteroids. You arrive in an asteroid belt to discover that a rebel automated scout has been stationed here. Prepare for fight. Uh, well, since that's going to be useless for the hull. Well, not really. Um, because it'll damage the ship a lot faster. Let's. Attack the sh one on the shields, the other on the engines. Let's see what a hull damage or the hull laser does. How good it is. 
See, also now I have 40 evade, so that means every time they fire it has 40% of not hitting it. Which is awesome. Oh, cool. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Thirty-four. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Oop. Six fuel for 12 scrap. Uh, that might be useful. We can purchase fuel here. Yay. Let's get six, because we can. Thank you for your business, sir. Uh, let's wait. Let's just keep on. Let's just keep on keeping on. Get the hell out of here. Oh, no. It's a nebula. Um, uh, whatever. Nebula. The slugs that live in this nebula field are leisure-centered civilization. Everything in the slug life is done with, in the pursuit of a more, of more currency and more time in which to spend it on extra extravagant ventures. This inevitably led, leads to more treachery in open space. Yeah. Oh my god. So much. Alright, I usually just haul ass through these because of my other... Because of what I've said before about these stupid sectors. You arrived to find a small slug repair station. Greatness, traveler. Gre greeting, greetings, traveler. I like greatness, traveler. Care for a fix up. We could easily patch up some um, of that damage. Uh, ask if they would like payment. Just before the transmission is cut, you hear they're not falling for it. Just kill the crew and we can, we can strip. Looks like you're not getting out of this without a fight. Oh, man. All right, let's kill this jerk wad. Let's see if we had a slug on our crew. That would really help because they do awesome things. Like, um, they use tele telepathy, so I usually station them on, um, the little camera thing so that they can, uh, see inside ships a lot better. Crap. All right, we got to use the burst laser. It's faster, slightly. Why is there a vade? Oh, God. Okay. Uh, crap. They'll just have to repair it themselves, I guess. Oh, no, they ain't. Kill them. You have bested us. We will you accept that we are this? What is in our store as an exchange for our lives? Maybe if you let us have one of your crew. 
Nope, no surrender. Well, we would have killed him anyways, so... Uh, <laughs> um, 37. Oh, man. I'm wondering if I should save up or if I should just update my ship so I can have three at once. I think I'm going to update my ship. Yeah. God. Everything's so expensive. Oh, and there's a store. Awesome. Crap. Well, let's see what I could have gotten with 90. Cautiously approach a slug colony on a huge asteroid. It's a brave uh, it's a brave person who sets foot on a slug planet. It can take weeks to get the mucus out of your clothes, and there's business to be done. But there's business to be done. Oh, god damn it. Uh This weapon's ion damage increases, but each time it's fired to a max of four, it requires three power. How much is the ion? Thing? 15, of course. Damn it. Could have bought that. Could have bought it. I guess I have this. That would be still not enough. Go to the Artemis, too. That'd be enough. Shots per charge. Three, one damage, potentially three, one, nine seconds. Could get that. Could definitely get that. How much is power? And it only requires one power. That might be good. Heavy lasers can wreak more havoc than their smaller burst laser counterparts. Let's try it. Why not? Let's get rid of our burst laser. Because I'm in it for the damage. Can we get the chain eye on? That would be 40... Two and yeah, enough. Right, yes, yes. Be 60. Get that, and then be three. Because right now this requires one power. That is one power. That requires three power. So I have three, and then if I, then I know I have to, yeah, I'm, I'm sure that this is all interesting for you people to listen to me think this crap out. Yeah, let's, let's, let's do it. Why not? Why not? You're here to watch me play, not ponder what could possibly go wrong. All right, let's do this. We did it. We did it. Or I did it. You know, whatever.
Um, okay, I like that. So, except, so all I need is to upgrade this once, and then I have enough. Oh, no, I have enough now. <sighs> Yay. I am smart. Yay. <laughs> Still upgrade it once. And then get another power, and then I could have whole lasers too. And then I'm destroying people again. Yay. Okay, let's get out of this crap <clears throat> as fast as possible. Mantis attack ship here looks to be having uh, have been hunting slugs on their home turf. A rare test of honor for the mightiest mantis crews. Weapons up. A uh, heavy laser on the shields, why not? And then the ion chain on the shields as well. Do it. Execute. So glad I got that, like, mind control device before um, I uh, went into an area that I can't really use it in. It's freaking great. Yay. Okay, there we go. Let's do this. Okay. Yeah, now we're doing it. Cool. Just damaged our hull. It's a little slow go, but, you know, whatever. We're good enough to survive. Yeah, take that. And ship explodes. Huzzah! Let's... Uh... Let's wait. <clears throat> Jump. Okay. Select transport ship is stationed near the beacon with a military escort ship. They message you. We have been waiting for a customer for ages. Can you see? <laughs> Care to see our wares? Let's see it. Before we get ahead of ourselves, I need to explain some ground rules. Rules of our transaction. These are dangerous times. First, we accept no trades, coupons, or refunds. Purchases are final. Understand. Understood. <laughs> we hold no liability for our products. Damage post-sale. We offer no insurance or, or customer service. Not a problem? Uh, not a problem? God damn it. During our discussion, my man has taken the liberty of disabling your weapons to prevent any complications while completing our transactions. You suddenly register multiple weapon locks, but your own weapons are not responding. Get out of here. God damn it. And I have people on board. Wonderful. Since I also don't know where the hell they are. Gonna get them into that door thing. Oh, of course they're in there. Okay, they are in their weapons thing. Can I? Nope. Get to the oxygen room. We'll just drain that air out of there. Wish you could, like, tell it what rooms you wanted air to be drained out of. Oh, 
Okay, getting the hell out of here. Get to a legitimate store. Okay. <laughs> well, okay, well, we'll we'll just we'll just take a shopping break while uh while this crap is going on. Why not? Why not? Oh man. <clears throat> uh No, we don't need to spend more. We need to get energy, that's for sure. And why not? Let's fix our ship, too. Do we have anything to sell? No, we don't. Okay. Now let's just kill this dude. Splurt. <sighs> Sit here and wait. Do 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 I wish having people in an area gives well there's a certain race that does that, but I mean just overall. Gives extra power to a subsection. We'll wait until we have ninety health or ninety oxygen and then go. While that happens, time to drink. Uh, and move around. Eighty six, eighty seven, eighty eight, eighty nine, ninety. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Let's get out of this backwater town. Let's find out what's these, what's in this area right here first before we leave. You're relieved to see the sensors blink back on after the jump. No ships detected. Great. Waste of time. Good. These slugs rely heavily on their telepathic powers and are reluctant to give up that advantage by extending beyond nebulas. It's unlikely you'll encounter any this far from the clouds. Ugh. All right, let's get the hell out of here, then. This long-range beacon is almost hidden within the nebula. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. See, I wish if you beat the rebels through a sector, you could, um... Like, have more time to explore a given region, because you don't. You have that, which really kind of sucks. You've entered Zoltan territory. This species is not renowned for the for giving anything for nothing. But you can always be assured a fair hearing. Good to know. Adventure. Emergency, all ships in range, we're under attack. The frequency matches the nearby Zoltan ship. You move in on their on their pursuer. They take your intervention as cue to jump away. Cowards. Holy crap. Pirate bomber. Jeez. Got ion cannons, like some sort of bomb thing. An attack drone and a hard laser. Great. Let's see if we can kill them and take that. All right, let's do it. Let's do this. Jeez. 
Awesome. Oh my god. This is no bueno. Gotta fix that. Gotta fix that. Okay, we're getting the hell out of here. We've lost half. Oh my god. Oh, and it's a pulsar too. Great. This may be our last jump. Yay. So much yay going on here right now. Oh, and I don't have control of the doors. Oh, actually, I have this guy who's impervious to fire, so that could help. Oh my god, are you serious? Holy crap, get the hell out of there. What the hell is going on? How did this happen? <laughs> Holy crap. We are going to get destroyed. I don't even know where to go from here. Holy jeez balls. Oh, my God, I don't know what to do. Wow. We're dead. God, ah, uh, that is, <laughs> oh, my <laughs> Cool, thanks, game. Thank you so much for just taking a dump on me. No, there's not going to be anything at the store. <sighs> yeah, long dead spade. <sighs> Fuck. Whatever. God, we need health and also, like, repairs. We, I mean, we need repairs and we also need uh, energy because we're running pretty low on energy right now. And our oxygen is damaged beyond repair. Holy crap. Okay, we gotta get someone into that room. Do the hard choices, just like Star Trek, you know? Oh my god, what the hell? Oh my god, we're gonna die! <sighs> Remo, I'm sorry, brother. Oh, thank you. Oh, no, stay in there and repair that crap. Jeez, what... God damn hell. This is... That was... 
insane. We barely made it out alive. That is what this freaking game is all about. It's, it's annoying. All right, shields. I'm very surprised that Remo was able to actually get that room repaired in time to survive. You're the jam, Remo. Thank you. I mean, we're not going to survive another jump, but whatever. I swear that this game is, like, procedural in that every time every time you update a system, like, that system on enemy ships is going to be updated as well. So, you know, buckle up. <laughs> it's so fucking dumb. But this is about, you know, this is this is a pretty standard game. Usually you get your ass handed to you like before you get halfway through all the sectors. But uh, this was pretty, you know, it was lulling me into a sense of false security. Just so it could crush my hopes and dreams. Uh, I had a game once where I was destroyed on the first jump. Literally destroyed on the first jump probably due to my horribleness at playing this game, but uh, more than likely it was because, uh, you know, whatever. More than likely it was just because, like, this game is harsh as hell and just, like, loves to crush meatbag humans. All right, you arrive at a Zoltan research facility. They say they are researching genetic disorders or distortion due to stasis sleep and prolonged FTL travel. They ask if your crew has time to undergo a few scans. Uh, sure, let's... Sure, why not? Your crew calmly lines up for the Zoltans to take their readings. After a short time, the process is done. They contact you. Thank you for your participation in our study. Please accept these small cakes made from stiff dough as well as some scrap. Ah, great, thank you. Got scrap. I could go back to the store and risk getting pummeled by... Alright, let's do it. Let's go back to the store and use all of this to freaking... We gotta get some of that. Crap balls. We are gonna get stomped there's no way like even if we made it all the way to the end we're still uh, we are gonna get stomped you arrive in an astro field and are greeted by a zoltan guard by attempting to access these clothes yeah blah 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 seen this already okay heavy laser freaking I guess the zoltan are the people like they gain an extra you get a default extra power unit per Zoltan that you have on your ship. Or in the... Oh my god! And now I am screwed. Oxygen first, friend. Okay. Now that that's damaged, take out their freaking weapons. Holy crap, we're going to get slaughtered. And our hull is like almost done. Uh, why? <sighs> Repair. Doesn't matter, we're going to get freaking killed. All right, you need to get the hell out of there. Get to the med bay, repair that crap. Awesome. Now our engines are destroyed and we're gonna die. <laughs> uh, God damn it, man.
Ugh. Nah. One last explosion marks your fate as your ship is torn apart. Por- torn apart. I'm just emotional right now, so I can't say words. Worry. That's FTL. Um, I have been playing version 1.5.13. It's a game by Subset Games. Uh, if you haven't heard of this game or you haven't picked it up yet, what are you doing? And where are you from? Are you, do you not play video games? Maybe you don't play video games and that's why you're watching this video. Anyways, you watch me play this game and suffer through getting my ass handed to me. So, um, yeah, there you go. That was fun, wasn't it? If you liked watching me play this, you should subscribe to Dashing Through October, the channel. Because I do Let's Plays on it, but I call them Let Us Plays. And hey, if that's too much trouble, you should just click the uh, like button then, because, uh, you know, stats and, and metrics and, and stuff. Alright, that's it for me. Keep it secret, keep it safe.